Hi, I'm Ima. I'm a grandma and a mom. And I have a book to read today for you. It's called Room on the Broom. And it's written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Axel Scheffler. And it's from the creators of The Gruffalo. I haven't read The Gruffalo, have you? Maybe we should read that some other time. So this is called Room on the Broom. Here's the first picture. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned and they sat on their broomstick and, flow, and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly and blew off the hat. Here's the hat getting blown off. Whoosh, there it goes. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the, wolf, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the, oh, I must have skipped something here. <gasps> I did. Let's go back to this picture. Oh, look, something's flying off. Let me read, read this picture, this page, and we'll see what's happening. Over the fields and the forest they flew, the dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held onto her hat, but away blew the bow from her braid, just like that. So here's her braid, and there goes the bow. Ah. Down, cried the witch. And they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree, with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said, as the witch tied her braid in the bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. See, there's a dog and a cat and the witch. And the bird is coming along. I'll get it. Turning the page. Oh, we can see some rain in this picture. Whoa. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. There goes the wand with the star on it. See that? Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak, I am a frog as clean as can be. 
Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy. Here's all of them on the broom. You can see the frog jumping. The frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two. Uh -huh. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. <gasps> what? I am a dragon as mean as can be and which with french fries tastes delicious to me. No, cried the witch flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and said, just this once I'll have witch without fries. Is it getting hot in here to anybody else with the dragon and all that? But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when it started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched and it strode from the ditch and it said to the dragon, buzz off, that's my witch. Can you say that? Buzz off, that's my witch. Good job. The dragon drew back and he started to shake I'm sorry, he spluttered, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog, down climbed the cat, said, phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. So that big monster was made up of these guys. They saved the witch, which is their friend. And everybody's happy about that. I'm happy. Are you happy? Are you happy? Good, good, good. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a, a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. Looks like she's making witch stew. They threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. A truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Look at this deluxe broomstick. Wow. It's got everything they need. Oh, that's the end. So let's look at that picture again. Let's see, I'm looking for the 
frog. Oh, here's the frog in the back. Oh, I have to open it really big so you can see that. See, there's a pool for the frog and a seat for the cat and a seat for the dog and a nest for the bird. What a fabulous story. Did you enjoy that? Room on the broom. Well, I hope that you guys will come back again and we can um, do a different story another time. In the meantime, please remember that I love you. Yes, I do. Okay, come back again. Bye.